let us come to one more topic of today's discussion that is typing ergonomics now what in this section we will learn what is typing ergonomics and what are the different uh, typing ergonomics that we need to follow while working in our computing devices okay so the meaning of ergonomics ergonomics the word ergonomics first of all came in greek okay in greek the word ergonomics came into existence and it is made up of two combination of two words that is one is ergon which means work and nomos which means laws so work laws in short work laws whenever there are certain etiquettes there are certain <coughs> work etiquettes which we need to follow that is also known as ergonomics ergonomics okay which means law so the word ergonomics came from the greek word greek word of ergon which means work and nomos which means laws now it is essentially defined as the laws of work so the laws which we need to follow while working that laws of work is also considered as ergonomics or it is also known as science of work what is the science behind our work that is also known as ergonomics now in general the study of how equipment and furniture can be arranged in order so that people can do work or other activities more efficiently and comfortably so whenever whenever there is a need to work on a particular device for a certain duration of time without any break in such situation we need to have our equipment and furniture arranged in such a manner that it should not it should not uh, deter us from doing our work that means what it should make us make us productive and effective okay so ergonomics is the study of how equipment and furniture can be arranged in this uh, in this topic we will learn what are the different arrangement of equipment and furniture in order so that people can do work and other activities more efficiently and effectively so this is the actual meaning of typing uh, ergonomics that is arrangement of our equipment and furniture effect in such a way to work on our computing device much more efficiently and effectively we producing much uh, with much of the productivity so as i said earlier it comes from the combination of two two words ergon which means work and logos which means laws so it is essentially the laws of work or science of work now typing ergonomics provide the logistic support for efficient and effective typing as i said earlier logistics in our previous classes we have discussed logistics management now how the materials or commodities or huge machineries are being transferred from one location to another by means of different transporting devices that is known as logistics management but logistics means the method of providing support by means of different articles different furniture different different things items which will help in efficient and effective type it so it may basically deals with the logistic support provided for efficient and effective type it now why it is essential in order to maintain accuracy and speed whenever say we are working on a computer uh, on a software platform now in order to get our work done in a much more efficient manner as well as maintaining accuracy and speed it is essential that we see with proper concentration with full concentration laid on uh, the task that that has been assigned to us that and this can be achieved if our logistic support is good it is comfortable and it should be according to the standard that is being needed while working in while working in any of the computing device so this is the basic definition of ergonomics now in this ergonomics come uh, typing ergonomics we will learn certain positions placement of finger mouse back body uh, position of screen and monitor all those things will be discussed one by one so let us come to the first point that is sitting posture 
factor affecting typing ergonomics. These are the factors which generally affect our typing ergonomics. Typing rules. Actually, ergonomics in short can also be considered as rules by means of which proper arrangement, proper and systematic arrangement. Uh, we will arrange ourselves systematically in order to achieve our work in an efficient and effective manner. Now the first is sitting posture. See, while operating the computer keyboard, we should sit straight, slightly bending our neck forward. Whenever there is a need for working in our computing device, we should always remember that we should sit straight. Okay, our posture should always be straight with our neck slightly bent forward with our neck slightly bent forward like this see here this is the exact this is the positioning of a person while working in the computer posture sitting posture the second one is we should also check our comfort and sitting position of the body the whole body placement and comfort should also be checked while working in any of the computing device then the third option, third feature is, third sitting posture is the lower portion of the back should touch the lower portion of backrest of chair. The lower portion of backrest, suppose we have a chair which contains backrest on the lower portion, then we should always keep in mind that the lower portion of our back should, uh, should rest on the backrest of the chair should be touching the backrest of the chair that is the backrest which is being provided in our chair our lower portion of the back should be touching that backrest of the chair now the fourth sitting posture is touch both the feet to the floor now whenever whenever we are sitting we should always maintain that our feet should be touching the floor always okay and it should be placed horizontally on the floor uh, our Foot should be placed horizontally on the floor. The picture depicting the sitting posture means the ex all the four postures, sitting posture which I have discussed in this slide can be easily visualized from the picture which is there on the next slide. That is this picture. See, picture depicting the correct sitting posture. So, this is the correct sitting posture. If our chair is in such position, see, our back should be touched with the lower portion of our chair that is on the backrest our back should be straight our head should be slightly bent neck should be slightly bent tilting towards the monitor then our feet should be exactly parallel exactly horizontal it should be laid on the floor horizontally okay so this this is the exact positioning of a person, uh, posture, sitting posture of a person while working in the computer. Now, apart from this sitting posture, some other postures are also there. The second one is positioning of hands. How we should position our hands while working on the key computer? Put your forearms at level with the keyboard and palms down. Now, we should always remember that our forearms should be at level with the keyboard. This is forearm, it should be in level with the keyboard and our palms down, palms should be down. As you can easily visualize, you can easily see this palms is slightly down. Then keep your wrist straight, our wrist should be kept straight and our elbow should hang naturally. See, our elbow should be straight. This is elbow it is it should be straight and it should hang naturally means we should not use any support in order to hang our elbow instead it should support naturally don't touch the elbows to the body nor be too far away from the body now we should not touch the elbow to the body nor our elbow should be too far from the body and also the bending should be at about 90 degree angles now first thing is we should not touch the elbow with the to the body and it should not be too far from the body. It should also not be far from the body. However, we can bend at about 90 degree angle. See, our, this elbow should not touch any part of the body. It should be 
and at 90 degree angle and it should not also be too far from the border see few more pictures are there on the next page see this is the exact positioning of elbow this is the correct screen angle view whenever we are uh, watching or whenever we are working on a computer this is the exact screen view how it should look like our body should be straight back should be straight it should be straight in such a way that our back <coughs> the bottom part of our back should rest on the back backrest and it should touch on the backrest then foot placement should be horizontal that is flat parallel to the it should be not parallel it should be touching horizontally to the ground and then elbow should be at a, at some distance from the body it should not touch any part of the body and it should be inclined at approximately 90 degree angle so it should hang actually it should not be having any support so these are the different positioning of hands now monitor placement now the third is third category of typing ergonomics factors affecting typing ergonomics is monitor placement see how to keep our monitor in order to work in the work in a computer efficiently we should not bend our neck while working on the monitor means while working on the monitor our <coughs> neck should not be bent much as i said earlier it should be slightly tilted but it should not bend and upper border of the screen at eye level we should keep always keep upper border of the screen at eye level see this is the upper border of the screen it should always be at eye level horizontal okay and the lower level of the monitor should maintain an angle of depression with the line of our eyesight okay angle of depression with the line of eyesight then the second is the distance of the screen from the user depend on the size of the screen now the distance at which our monitor should be placed should always depend on the size of the screen it should always depend on the size of the screen depending on the size of the screen if it is larger then it can uh, the size of the screen is huge then it can be placed at some uh, <coughs> distant location while for a 70 inch screen the approximate distance is about 60 to 65 centimeter that is what if we are having a monitor which is of 16 inch, 17 inch then our our positioning of eye our positioning of eye from the monitor should be at a distance of about 60 to 65 centimeters. So this is about monitor placement. Monitor placement can be better understood by means of by means of this picture. Because see here, our line of eyesight, line of this is the line of eyesight, and the, the top part of monitor, top part of monitor. should be at the eye level okay and distance the distance of the screen always depends on the size of the screen moreover the bottom of the screen should maintain a particular say 35 degree or 40 degree angle of depression with the line of our eyes now mouse and keyboard placement what are the different ways by means of which we can maintain typing autonomics in but placing mouse and keyboard. So the first thing is keyboard and mouse should be kept together at a distance of 20 centimeters. So always remember the keyboard and mouse should be at a distance of 20 centimeter from us in order to work efficiently and effectively in order to keep our elbow to 90 degree level and, uh, uh, and without any support we should always remember to keep our mouse and keyboard at a distance of 20 centimeter approximately. And it will help in smooth and effortless operation of keyboard. If we need smooth and effortless operation of keyboard, then this is the minimum distance which we need to maintain. Similarly, same height of the keyboard, mouse, and elbows help the user to work comfortably. If the height of the mouse, keyboard, and elbows are at the same level, that is, the keyboard, mouse, and elbows are at same height, then it will also be beneficial for user to work effectively and comfortably. The chair and table placement. Now, the computer chair and table should be kept at an optimal height. The optimal height 
and optical height has to be maintained while while keeping our chair and table while placing our chair and table. So in chair and table placement, first thing we should remember is uh, the chair and table should be kept at an optimal height which should not disturb the balance of our body in order to uh, accomplish our task. The chair of the computer user must be supportive to his or her lower back. Now, the chair in which we are sitting, it should be supportive to our lower back. Lower portion of the back should be supported by the chair. Keyboard and vibrating device such as printer should be kept on separate table. Third point is, whenever there is a need, now, whenever there is a need, uh, of working on the keyboard then we should follow this typing ergonomics in this chair and table placement we should always remember to keep keyboard and vibrating device like printer on separate separate table keyboard and printer should be kept on separate table because printer is a kind of vibrating device now moreover the computer table should also have sufficient space for your legs means foot rest should if possible we can also keep a foot rest in our computer table as well so that we can maintain space. Now the location of our computer table and the chair in between this sufficient space should be there so that, so that we can keep our so that we can keep our feet horizontally on the ground. So this is about the chair and table placement. Now apart from this placement of matter to be done. Suppose there is a need of performing any programming. Now, based on certain situations or criteria, we need to perform a program. The situation of criteria, situation of criteria is not there in hard copy format. In, or it is available in hard copy format. It, we should always remember that the matter which has to be inserted, which has to be tied by means of computer, should be placed to the left or the right side of the keyboard to be placed should be placed on the uh, left or right side of the keyboard preferably on the copy holder now some some copy holder should be attached with the content to be inserted in our device some copy holder should be utilized in order to uh, yes place that content in, in front of us and this copy holder should be having a sloping surface that means what it should be having a sloping surface in such a way in, in such a way that it should not disturb our eyesight it should not disturb our eyesight so we need to keep the matter which is required for typing to the left side or right side of the keyboard preferably on a copy holder Whenever there is a need for typing content from a hard copy or a soft copy, then we should always remember to save the content in a copy holder which has an inclined surface or a sloping surface. So that it should not disturb our eyesight. So this is all about typing ergonomics. With this, I would like to conclude my discussion on today's class. Thank you students for being patient. Have a nice day.